Hello everyone, uh, this video is going to be on regular expressions and the conversion of a regular expression to an NFA or an ENFA or an epsilon NFA. So an epsilon NFA is a, just an NFA with epsilon transitions. Now what is an epsilon transition? We extend the class of NFAs by allowing epsilon transitions and this is this is done when we don't read an input symbol rather we could go to the next state with just uh, reading no input symbol that means the automaton may be allowed to change its state without reading the input symbol these input symbols uh, the ones that, uh, that, are that are allowed to change states without any input sim symbols that time the input symbol will be an epsilon that is an empty string so um, also, we assume that the symbol E does not belong to any alphabet. So, epsilon is not considered any alphabet. We don't consume an alphabet when epsilon is uh, when an epsilon transition occurs, right? So, I won't go much in depth about epsilon transitions. I would just go into the technical part and uh, or and how to solve a regular expression, how to uh, convert a regular expression to an NFA using Thomson's algorithm. So, let's look at some rules. These are the basic rules for for concatenation, for clean closure, and for uh, union or OR operation. So for union operation, that is A or B or A union B, that at that at that point when we are drawing, when we are converting this regular expression to an NFA, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's pretty simple. Sorry. So you could go to the next state either. Uh, you could go to the accepting state either with a input a, or you could go to the next next uh, state or the accepted state with either b, either a or b. You could go to the accepting state. Now for an e NFA, the condition is sort of different, but let's just finish the NFA part and I'll move on to the e NFA. So for concatenation, it's also pretty simple. You just Move to the move to the next state. Move to the next state from the initial state with a input a, and again to the final state with input b. Uh, notice that if this was a DFA, then you would have to consider for every state you would have to consider all possible inputs uh, of the alphabet. So in, suppose we are in this state, that time we would also have to consider what would happen if the input was b. You would also ha have to handle the uh, state transitions with input b. But since it's an NFA, it does not matter. So for a clean closure, for A star or A asterisk, what you what you do is you just stay in the same state and you keep on moving and you keep on uh, uh, keep on ambiguously moving into the same state over and over again. So there could be multiple outputs or there could be just one output. This starting state will also be the accepting state. Sorry, I forgot to put that down. So this accepting state will also be the starting state. Uh, sorry, this starting state will also be an accepting state because it would it could accept zero or more occurrences or zero or multiple occurrences of A. And there is also another one for NFA which is uh, A plus. This plus denotes is not the same as this union because this is a superscript plus. What this denotes is that we would have one or more occurrence, one or multiple occurrences of A. So the minimum occurrence of A is 1 and the maximum is infinity. So it would start from the state and then once it gets an, an A as an input, it could, it could be accepted or it could have multiple A's and still be accepted. Right. Now let's move on to the NFA, e, epsilon NFA part. So if, uh, if, if you're said, if you're told to convert this regular expression to an epsilon NFA rather than an NFA, with E transitions, epsilon transitions, then this would be the resulting state. So as you can see, the epsilon transition is allowed and this does not consume any input. It could still move on to the next state and it does not consume any input. And then after that, you get, uh, you either have, you either, you either take this path or you either take this path. So you, uh, all for before and after, you always put an epsilon transition. These are the, th these are the, this is the, this follows Thomson's algorithm. So these are just conventions and rules not conventions these are strict rules right even for this for the concatenation you would have to put another epsilon in the middle and then keep on going over so if this was a b c it would be a epsilon b epsilon c and then you get to the accepting state for clean closure it's sort of different i forgot to put an epsilon transition here so basically you go uh, you have an epsilon in the beginning epsilon in the end or you could directly go to the accepting state with an epsilon there is also supposed to be an epsilon here and here 
so there will be an epsilon here and here all right I'm sorry about uh, not putting it there and this is just a picture that's why I could not like um, edit it any anyhow so we we go to the next we go to the accepting state with uh, just epsilon because recall that a star or a, a asterisk means that it could have zero or more occurrences of a so if there was no input of a consumed then we could just still go to the accepting state this would still be accepted right and um, for and after that the, like uh, it could also move back uh, with an epsilon transition these are just rules so that is that is these when you encounter this kind of when you encounter an asterisk format or asterisk string uh, a, or with the clean closure that is then you will have to follow this rule so let's look at some examples uh, first let's look at the example of a regular expression to an NFA right so to convert a regular expression to an NFA we would have suppose this is the string that's given to us so 1 star 0 0 1 plus so this would be accepted with just no uh, like bo since both of these parts have asterisks or clean closure we, we would still accept it no matter what so at the starting state is also the accepting state so we would have many occurrences of one since it's just regular expression to an NFA recall the rules the rules the rule for just asterisks was uh, this is the, this will also be the, uh, the let, let me just write the rule again a star will be the final state and the starting state altogether so this is the rule for a star right so one star will be like this and then after that it would have zero zero and one plus one plus means one or more occurrences of one so one has to be there in order to accept this this part of the string if not then this part of the string will be accepted so if you have just one it's fine but if you have zero zero one it would has it has to cross loop it also has to have one uh, at least one one so zero zero and then one and then it could be repetitive so if the string was something like zero zero one zero zero one it will be zero zero one zero zero one it will be accepted right and if the string was just one it would also be accepted or one 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 it would also be accepted right and if the string was one zero zero one one zero zero one it would be accepted right so let's move on to this regular expression what this does is it would have we don't care what happened what we get in the beginning we don't care what we get in the end as long as this substring is present we accept this NFA so 0 1 and then we don't care what happened what we get in the beginning and we don't get what we get in the end we don't care what we get in the end so this is an NFA as you can see if this was a DFA you would know that every state would have all the possible transitions for all the possible alphabets input alphabets right let's go to the next one so 0 star 0 1 or 1 0 and then 1 star so it would be accepted it would be accepted with 0 1 or 1 0 and 1 star if uh, uh, and after that so this is this is the uh, what you called DFA sorry so this would be the NFA for this particular regular expression if you get zeros clean closure you keep on moving at this state and then when you get 0 1 if you could just get 0 here then it won't be accepted but if you get 0 1 it will be accepted if you get or if you get 1 0 it will be accepted and one star is optional here and it would keep on going because it's a zero it's zero or more occurrences no need for a star here right so that's about it for a uh, regular expression to e nfa let's look at regular expression to nf uh, that was for regular expression to nfa this is for regular expression to e nfa so let's look at the first diagram then we'll move on to the next ones so zero one star so recall the rules always keep the rules written somewhere if you're new to it but if you practiced enough you don't need to you have the rules written to you so when you encounter just zero you go to just zero that's fine but when you encounter one star you would have an epsilon in the beginning epsilon in the end an epsilon transition on its own and an epsilon transition from back from uh, to uh, when it goes back 
that would have multiple occurrences of one right so uh, that's for a zero one star this was fairly easy now let's look at this this string this string over here so zero or one and then zero one so this is zero or one this is a union operation and this is concatenation so in, in union operation let's review the rule again in union operation we we just have epsilon transitions both ways and epsilon transition both ways at the beginning and in the end so epsilon transitions both ways in beginning on the or and in the end and since there will be both there will be two possible routes one with just zero and one with just one and then after that the concatenation rule begets zero epsilon and then one let's look at the rules one more time great so uh, that's about that's for uh, that's for re regular expression to epsilon nfa now let's look at another one let's look at this one uh, a star bc so again for clean closure we have epsilon in the beginning epsilon in the uh, end epsilon when it goes back and epsilon just directly over here and then bc since it's not, uh, it's not, it won't be in the accepted state because B and C are compulsory strings. That's why there wasn't, it, this was, this state was not marked as the accepted state. And then after that, we go to B. That's a simple concatenation, B, and then epsilon, and then C. Right. So after that, let's look at this one. This one is pretty big. So I did it in two steps. So first, this is a whole clean closure rule, right? So first, let's just write the epsilon transition in the beginning, in the end, while going back, and while going directly to the uh, accepting state. So this will be in the middle, we have 1 star 0, 0. Take this 1 star 0, 0, like we uh, assume that 1 star 0, 0 is just one string. Suppose it's A. So it will be 1 star 0, 0 with like A star, right? So that's why we wrote it here. Second step, we further break it down. We break it down so so that everything we do is uh, we're, we're doing we will we'll be doing in the middle in the middle so right the this thing this will also go here forgot to write that right so yeah that was the wrong one epsilon will be from here to here so that's why this is it's better if you break this down further I did it in two steps it would be better if you do it in three steps like breaking this down and then breaking this down and then after that you break everything down so here I just did directly from this step so after we write the epsilon in the beginning and epsilon in the end and the epsilon that goes directly here and the epsilon that goes back this is this part is going back epsilon 1 and then after that we further break down one star into epsilon in the beginning epsilon in the end epsilon that goes back and epsilon that goes here directly and then after that zero is the simple concatenation zero zero so zero epsilon and zero right so that's how you do uh, that's how you convert a regular expression to an ENFA I hope that proper practice would solve uh, all your doubts and this would this also this video also helped uh, somewhat to clearing out your doubts so please uh, give, give a thumbs up to show more support towards this series and good luck.